Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, as I promised y'all in my last haul videos, uh, that I would test out all the makeup on my face, and that's what I've done today. Uh, there is been a mess while shooting this because there was so much to use, and I'm so overwhelmed with how everything performed. It's been a beautiful look. I'm loving this look, totally digging it. If you guys like it too, then please watch the video. I have reviewed each and every product and used it and given you all a tutorial on this eye look right here. So yeah, let's get started. So before I start with this video, I want to get three things out of the way. One, my voice is bad. I have a bad throat. Two, it's Sunday morning, early in the morning. So there's going to be a lot of chaos in my house. So this video might just jump from voiceover to me speaking and voiceover, which I was less disturbing. So please bear with me. And uh, the third thing is I have a bad pimple over here, which will be visible after some time now. Uh, so yeah, let's get these three things out of the way. Right now it's 9.20. I'm recording this so early in the morning because I want to run a wear test for the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I have a party to attend right now at 11 o'clock. So let's get started. I have prepped my skin already. So I think I'm going to start with the eye makeup because I want to use my Jacqueline palette for the very first time and I want to see Actually, I did use it a little bit yesterday, so I know a few colors here and there. But uh, I will give you all a proper review as we go along with the palette and how exactly I like it. So let's just zoom into my eyes right now. Okay, so starting first, I think I'm going to prime my eyelids using the Colourpop No Filter Concealer. Uh, this is in the shade medium. No, in the shade golden. This is what it looks like. All of this is in my haul, so I'm not going to waste time showing you guys the products. I just want to see if it's the correct shade. I feel like the shade's fine. It blends very easily. <coughs> it actually blends out into nothing very, very quickly. So I really like that. I think I'll need to add a little more. Because it's not concealed my veins over here. I think the color is fine. It's a little highlighty color. It's not very concealing. More like a highlighting shade. But I think I'm okay with it. Because I don't have very dark under eyes. So mainly my point of concealing is when it's it's to highlight. I use a concealer to highlight my and add dimension to my face. Rather than actually concealing. So yeah. Okay, so now that I've primed my eyelids, I'm going to dive into the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is what it looks like. I have raved a lot about it already and I've tried it on. I think the only negative I have to say about this is that I wish it had a mirror. Because when you're working with such a big palette, it's very difficult to have a mirror in the other hand. Then how are you going to do your makeup? It's kind of tough. Also, if you can see, this color had a lot of fallout yesterday when I actually... I dived into the palette <clears throat> and there was so much pigment and I'm not used to that because the other palettes I use, you, you've got to at least coat your brush properly before you go in on your eyes but like the brushes were all coated in one go. The names I'll just mention over here because they are behind and it's kind of tough to keep looking behind. If you're anything like my skin tone, these colors are not going to work for you. These two lighter ones and this one too because it's exactly my skin tone. So I'll just use it quickly to set the concealer down. I'm just using this fourth shade in the palette. The name will be on the screen right now. To just use as a base, I'm using my fingers and dusting it all over. There's a lot of pigment. Of course, they're very, very soft, very buttery, very easy to use actually. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of overwhelming that there's so much pigment. So I'm starting off with this color right here for the crease. So now going in with the brown shade that I showed you all. See, I just coated, tapped into the brush and there's so much pigment. And then that's the fallout. <laughs> but there is never anything on the face as such. Like yesterday, I did my full face makeup and then I dived into the palette. I actually shot a look using this, a Christmas look. And uh, it will be up on my channel very, very soon. 
but um, when I used it yesterday, I did my full face makeup and then I went into the palette and there was no fallout whatsoever on my face. So that was pretty surprising because given that the shadows are so powdery, I don't mind if there's a little fallout. So that's why today I am doing my face, my eye makeup first. I'm going to dive into more deeper, darker shadows uh, so that I want to play around with the palette as much as I can. Yesterday's look was more rose gold. Uh, it was rose gold actually. I used a very pretty shade from this palette, which is so iridescent and so pretty. I'm so excited for you guys to see that look coming up. So I'm just building this color in the crease, going back and forth. I've just dived into the palette twice and I'm going in with swiper motions. I'm taking this deeper color right here which is next to the transition color I just used on a round brush just tapping into the brush and there's pigment so tapping off the excess the drill is going to remain the same throughout this I'm just concentrating right here on the outer corner and taking it lower in my crease I've dived again into the transition shade which I used because it got kind of blended away. Now for the pigment part of it, I'm going to go in with my finger. I think that's the best way to pick up pigment and I'm going in with this shade Cran Apple. I remember very very clearly because it's a very beautiful color. I also swatched it in my haul video. I was so mesmerized with it and red is very very pretty. I think red, oh my god, can you guys see? Sometimes I feel camera does not do justice to how pretty this makeup looks in person or this palette looks in person. I'm just swiping the color on my lid and then packing it in. Just in the center, I don't want to take it on the inner corners because I'm trying to actually aim for a halo look. I'm going in with this brush, I'm not picking up any new color and just blending out this um, shimmer shade in my crease and in my inner corner. Now I'm taking this detail crease brush. This is a new brush I picked up from e.l.f. It's the detail crease brush. It's in my haul video and I'm going to take this darker brown shade which is right here, second last in the second row, second last row just a little on the brush to add depth in the inner and the outer corners. My sister just screamed, I don't know what is she doing. This brush is very tiny so it's good to get right over here. I'm kind of smoking the inner corner and the outer corners out. <clears throat> so I want it to go exactly like this. I really like this brush, it's fitting wherever I want it to fit. I'm using my brush and I'm going to use some of the new setting spray I got from e.l.f. Uh, which is the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set. And go in with the same shade Cran Apple. Uh, to pat it on my lid so that it just fixes itself in place and the pigment will be much more bolder if I do it that way just in the centers I'm not going haywire with this because I'm already done with the look okay so now that we have just done the basic eye makeup let's dive into my face makeup and for that first I'm gonna start with the elf poles over minimizing primer uh, this comes with a pump like this I'm gonna take a lip tint on my hands I've never heard a review for this primer this primer has this white color I hope it doesn't transfer to the face also as white I'm just gonna use it in this region it smells like what does it smell like 
six and a half hours later. It smells like it smells like tea tree oil. It smells medicated for some reason. It's tacky, it's creamy at the same time. It's very moisturizing if I may. Do you see there was no fallout whatsoever from the Jacqueline palette? Although I used the glitter with the fingers and using Fix Plus, that setting spray of course. Still, there wasn't any fallout even from the dry shadows. I didn't use a wipe to clear it out. So I think that's what I really like. The powder, pigments, the shadows are so buttery. They are so easy to blend. But they don't have any fallout on the face. So if you're one of those people like me who likes to do their face makeup first and then their eye makeup, I think it would really work for you. This primer is oily. It's kind of creamy. But it's not minimizing my pores in any way. I can't see any blurring effect. Can you make out a difference? I can't make out a very severe difference on my face. Let me know in the comments if you all feel this primer made a difference to the face. I can't just tell already. But it's creamy, it's moisturizing, very moisturizing, not drying out. But I have oily skin so I don't know if that's a positive for me. But I can't see any blurring effect over here. My pores are big and it's not blurred out. So okay fine, let's dive into the main star of today's show and that's the Fenty Beauty Foundation. And I've spoken about this, the packaging and everything in my haul videos. This is what the bottle looks like. Of course you'll have seen um, the bottle elsewhere. I'm in the shade 370 warm is what I felt when I called it online. I'm just going to dive into the product right here, shaking it well because that was written on the box. I'm going to do one side of my face using a sponge, one side a brush, that's the drill I always follow when I'm testing out a new product. Um, also one more thing I want to say about this is I've seen a lot of reviews and people have said this is very quick drying. So I want to use it quickly. I'm just going to put little over here and then start one half of the face. Then we'll go on to the next. So I'm diving in this foundation with this sponge on this side of my face. Sponges are my favorite thing to use. This is the new Eco Tool sponge I got from the US as well. Uh, I have used it like you all can see. I've washed it. It's wet. Damp actually. My sister makes weird noises when she does yoga. Please excuse her. Uh, so let's just let's just start. I like this sponge just by the way I didn't want everything to be new because then the foundation would be like We wouldn't understand if it's the foundation which is doing well or it's the sponge or the primer So I put four drops of it very Inconsistently and let's just blend it in I think the color matches perfectly perfectly so if you're a NC 43.5 in MAC, um, golden, actually I don't even know my shades in all the foundations I own. I think I'm a G5 in L'Oreal, NC 43.5 in MAC for sure, MAC is my oldest foundation. And um, the NYX Total Drop Control, I think I'm a golden something. I'll leave the references for you guys in the description section. Oh my god guys, this isn't even funny. It's full coverage. Look at this half of my face and look at this half of my face. It's glowy and it's full coverage. I didn't expect anything less of this foundation. I expected it to be this way but it blended in four pumps of my hand. I just did this, 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 this and it's gone. I can still see a little bit of the tanning I have over here, the hyperpigmentation. Since we are using Fenty and I want full coverage, I'm going to take a little more on my hand. You all can see the consistency is very, very liquidy. Taking a little on my forehead and a little down here to match it to my neck. This foundation very, very buildable. Just build it up the coverage. So I finished this half of my face, the color matches perfectly to both halves. I literally can't see a difference. I don't think a foundation has ever matched me this perfectly. 
I will leave all the foundation shade numbers which you all can refer to down in the description. I think it blended flawlessly with this sponge over here. But I'm gonna try this side with a brush to see if that works better. The Fenty Beauty foundation actually comes with a brush of its own. Not a brush that you can buy. Uh, not a brush that comes with the foundation. A brush you can buy separately. Um, but... I didn't buy that, so I just want. I'm more of a sponge person. If you all see in my videos, I never go in for um, brushes. Oh, the brush also works beautifully, guys. This foundation is blowing my mind away. I'm just using a regular buffing brush. With this foundation, I guess, I can't see a difference, to be very honest. It's not like the brush applied it streakily or anything. It applied it beautifully. I feel, just to be very, very honest, that the brush gave me a little more coverage than the Beauty Blender did. The Beauty Blender kind of didn't cover this area, even though I added more foundation. If you, see, if you tell me, just choose, like put a gun to my head and tell me, choose. I think I would choose this side because this gave me instant coverage than this. Although the blender took less effort to blend out the foundation, this also didn't take that much. So if you're a brush person and if you have a brush at home which you use for foundations, I think you can just continue with the Fenty for that. You can very well use whatever is at your disposal which is amazing because then you don't need to make a choice. If if I have to say one negative I think about this, I feel it oxidized. Now I can see a little redness forming. Uh, so it's kind of gotten a little more tanner than my skin tone. But I think using concealer and that too when my concealer I feel is a little lighter than my skin tone. I think it will balance out properly. Apart from that this foundation is tacky to the touch, it is transferring. I feel let's just give it a little time to set. It will need setting of course. You can't just leave this and go out of the house. You need to set it with a powder. And um, yeah, apart from that, no negatives to say guys. Honestly, no negatives to say. So let's go ahead with the rest of our face makeup. I'm going to keep you all zoomed in so you all can now see the Colourpop No Filter Concealer in action. I'm taking very little because I feel like it's a little too light for me. I love the wand on this by the way. Using the same Eco Tool sponge I got yesterday but in a smaller version. Yesterday I'm seeing when I hauled. What do you guys feel? I feel the concealer is a little lighter but since Fenty oxidized slightly, I think it works. See how little I use and see the amount of coverage it's giving me. That's surprising me the most. Coverage wise, I think I really like it. Color wise, I think if you don't want highlighting, if you want concealing, you can go a shade darker in this. The only problem with me selecting the shade, my shade in this was that uh, if I went darker, the undertones were all pink and my undertones are yellow. I'm gonna add a little more over here because I feel like uh, it's not giving me enough coverage just over here. I love the wand, I love the consistency. It's nothing like I've had before. So I think I'm just gonna go in with a brush now and use this other product I got that's the e.l.f. That's the e.l.f. under eye setting powder. It's this tiny little thing. It came for three dollars and uh, it has this pull to open. This is the new brush I got. It's a pound pointed, very very soft brush. Before this concealer creases, I really want to set it. So we're gonna take out a little. It's just an under eye setting powder and it has no shade number whatsoever. I love this brush. I absolutely love this brush. But of course we'll need to be set up full face because this 
foundation is kind of transferring. I'm loving this powder. It stopped all the creasing, but I'm gonna set my full face using this powder. Very lightly, I'm dabbing my full face with this translucent powder. Now for contouring and highlighting, you all know I've called for all Colourpop stuff. So this is Colourpop uh, Press Powder Face. This is a bronzer I just dropped in the shade Rodeo Drive. I'm taking the same pointed brush, it's a bronzer. So I'm just going to lightly uh, dab the tip and contour slash bronze with this. I think the color is perfect, also very very soft, very easy to work with. This is the Colourpop uh, blush in the shade Tulip to Quit. And I want to use this today. I'm using the same brush again because I want everything to be Colourpop for once. And this blush showed up very pretty in the swatch. It's not as dark as it looks in the palette. So I'm very excited to put it on my face. It's such a pretty color guys and it's tying so well with this look. I love this color. And now for the highlight, you all know I call this Super Shock Quam Highlighter in shade Care Pressure. It's so beautiful, so gorgeous. I love this thing and how to use the Super Shock Highlighters is either with a synthetic brush or you can just go in with your fingers. Right over here. I'm just going to take a synthetic brush and make sure everything is seamlessly blended. I've used it twice already and I am in love with this highlighter guys. It's super glowy, super 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 nice. Super easy to use because just put your fingers, swipe it and it's blended seamlessly. Now that I'm done with my full face makeup, I'm just going to quickly set my face and melt all these powders into my face using the e.l.f. Magic Mist and Set. I'm using my setting spray to dab it in. Push all the highlighter, the powder, everything into your skin. So if there's any makeup mistakes you've made, this is the best way to correct them. Everything just melts into your skin. To finish off with the eyes, I'm taking all the same shades I took on my crease and I'm smoking out the lower waterline, lower lash line actually. For the inner corner and the brow bone, I'm using the second shade in the palette. I have tried the other shades for the brow bone highlight, I didn't like them that much. So let's try what is Jacqueline's favorite. So I went ahead and did my eyes. Now the only thing that's left is mascara and my battery is super super low. So I'm using this L'Oreal Lash Paradise, the super voluminous and very very uh, raved about mascara that's there in the market abroad. Uh, so I'm going to quickly add this to my lashes and then we'll do the lips. And we'll be done. I know you can probably not tell the difference because of all the eye makeup I have going on. But this mascara is pretty damn good. It's clung on to my eyelashes. Also, it's not clumpy which is a great thing. It separated the eyelashes and this bond is everything. More than the formula, the bond is amazing. For lips, I'm using the Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Faded. Uh, I want to try this nude colour and see if it really suits me. Also, we've done a super bold eye, so I think that's going to be perfect for that. The only negative I have to say about this liner is at this point, can you see, it went right inside the pencil. Because these are not retractable and they're sharpenable and to sharpen them is, will be a task if the nib keeps going in. So now I'm using the Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Rain. I 
So that completes this look guys. The only negative I had to say about the Lippy Pencil was that it was creme gel and it glides really smoothly but at the same time it just goes inside your pencil gets used up so you got to sharpen it every time you have to use it so that's a little no no but apart from that i'm loving how this look has turned out it's so gorgeous i love it and also i'm running a wetter so right now it's 11:10 Oh shit, we were supposed to be at the party at 11 o'clock. But of course, it's a party who goes on time. So we will go there. I'll come back and I'll tell you all how it performed, how the foundation wore, how the rest of the makeup wore. So stay tuned. And if you all like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, comment below, letting me know what was your favorite product. I try to brief you all on everything I've used. Uh, let me know what more, what product do you all want to see more in action in my further tutorials. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys at 4 p.m. now and then in my next video. Six and a half hours later. Hi guys, so I'm back. It's 5.30. I'm super tired and uh, my makeup's been gorgeous today all day. I'm really, really impressed by the Fenty foundation. I will sh tell you all one thing actually. Um, I didn't really like about this foundation is that it transfers a lot if you can see the corner of my shirt is completely ruined because I dragged the foundation down my neck and it was all over the collar because it transfers a lot it um, it is full coverage and the best part is that the coverage did stay so it's gorgeous in that way it um, did get a little oily because I have oily skin but I think it's not the foundation's fault it is the fault of the primer I think I really don't like that elf poreless or pore minimizing primer because it actually didn't do the job of minimizing my pores I was continuously getting oiled in this area which is my problem area when my pores are very very large so that is where it kind of didn't perform up to the mark my eye makeup is spot on even right now how many hours is this? Uh, 11 to 12, 12 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 6 hours and the eyeshadows haven't budged at all so it's gorgeous. I think this part of my face, I'm impressed, super impressed with. The blush, the highlight is still there. The blush and contour also kind of went away but uh, the lipstick I did retouch. Apart from that, I was very, very pleased with all the makeup I've gotten, everything that I've tried on my face today. I hope you guys liked this video, found it informative and uh, did enjoy it as well. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon which is right next to the subscribe button. So you will get notified every time I update which is weekly, just FYI. And if you're new here, then thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.